Of course, you want to start off by priming your eyelids. You want to use any eyeshadow primer. At this moment, I'll be using my e.l.f. Um, eyelid primer. So I'm applying this all over my eyelids. This is a very intense, smoky eye with a pop of green in the background there. I'm applying up to my brow bone, right below the lid. And I'm going to start off with my 120 palette. And I'm going to use a very vibrant and slightly shimmery green right here. This kind of color right there it looks really vibrant and bright. Perfect for this holiday season. I'm going to tap off the excess and you want to start off right above the crease. So you want to take your brush and in a gently manner, hold on, just blend that out right quick. Go above the crease. And work it just like so. Let me work with something right quick. Let me use some tape so I can get that good sharp edge at the end. Better, let's do that way. Okay, now I'm going to move on to the dark and black color there. Trying a base, I'm using my Sephora uh, Smoky Cream Liner. I'm going to use my little finger here, pull it a bit, and then apply it as the base all over the lid, avoiding getting in the crease area. Just work it till you completely cover that area. Now you want to take some black eyeshadow, matte black shadow, from your 120 palette or whatever matte black eyeshadow you may have, and just apply all over the area you covered with the gel liner, or whatever you use as a black base on your lid. Just pat it in, pack it on, and blend it within the green. Work your way slightly up just where it meets with the green and black. Now that we created that edge, just gonna go ahead and remove the tape. See how nice and sharp that is? And then you're gonna go ahead and start working on it by blending it. Uh, you're gonna have to tweak it a bit with a little bit more black here, a little bit more green there. Um, for the highlight, I'm using a very silver tone, kind of shimmery color from this quad from Maybelline. It's called, I think it's Amethyst Smokes, or any color like that. And then the water, the, the light kind of you know, washes it out, but very shimmery, slight, slight hint of silver in it. And you just want to apply it right here in your brow bone area for the highlight of your lid. And into the corner. Crease brush and watch your windshield wiper motion. I'm going to go off and put the green right under the waterline. And then go get your black liner, crayon liner if you can, if you have one. And then with your liquid liner, you get to create a little point here at the end of your inner corner of the lid, of your eye actually. Like so. And now you're going to go and apply um, glitter right here in the inner corner, like so. I'm applying it from Fantasy Makers. This let's see, uh, confetti, confetti kind of glitter, like so. The way I learned to apply it, I by watching another guru, 
um, apply some on your hand or on a brush you don't mind using with any lash glue. Just very little on your hand. Grab some and apply it right here in the inner corner, just dabbing it in. In the inner corner like so. And then I'm grabbing a Q-tip and dipping my Q-tip in here and then dipping it right in my inner corner like so. You're going to have fallout of course because it is very loose and fine glitter. So where are you big brush? <sighs> so much glitter on my face right now. Okay, you will have to do. Clean that up a bit. Now I'm going to apply some false lashes. This is the first time I'm ever really using this little tool here. Actually works. Um, it really helped me out of my other eye. So hold it here, right in between, and then apply your lash glue. Let it attack you a bit, and then move on to the next step. And for the lips, I'm going to go ahead for a very neutral lip. I'm using Born With It from Maybelline. It has like a little pink tone to it. It's one of my favorite lipsticks, so you can tell I used it a lot. <laughs> And then, right on top of it, I am using sorry, a lip gloss, which I don't know the name of it right now, but it's from LA Colors. I'm going to add a little gloss to the top of this lipstick, even though the lipstick has a slight shimmer to it as well. It's really pretty. Filled in my eyebrows, a little bit darker than normal. You can use blush if you'd like. I don't really need it at the moment, but this is so far the finished look. I uh, hope you like it. Um, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and, and I hope you enjoy another holiday look for 2011. Have a great and safe holiday. I mean, Christmas is literally like five, six days away, which I can't believe. I haven't even done any Christmas shopping. Oh my gosh. Gotta do some at least tomorrow. I attempt to. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. But I hope you enjoy. And don't forget, like I said, comment, rate, subscribe, and stay tuned for a couple more looks for the holiday season. Talk to you girls later. Bye.